Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a PostgreSQL server along with the PG Admin Web Tool on Ubuntu hosted on Azure. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Azure and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. So for that simply click on get it now. After that you need to click on continue. And then from this product page simply click on create. So that should bring you to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So simply choose the subscription that you have and then choose the resource group by either creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one and then give your virtual machine a name. So I'm going to call mine as PostgreSQL. After that, choose the region where you want your virtual machine to be deployed. Then scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. And after that, simply choose the size according to your requirements. Now for the authentication type, you can go with the SSH public key or the password protected access. I'm going to go with the SSH public key. And then lastly, give yourself a username. And then when you satisfied with the settings, simply click on review plus create. After that, you need to simply wait for the validation process to complete. And once the validation is done, simply click on create to actually create the virtual machine. Now this time around, it is going to prompt you to download the private key and create resource. So download the private key in a secure folder because this is the private key that you would be using to connect to the SSH terminal of your virtual machine. And then you need to wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment is complete, you need to connect to the SSH terminal of your newly created virtual machine. So for that, simply click on go to resource. And then from this dashboard, you need to click on connect and choose SSH. Now you're going to copy this command and paste it inside either a command prompt or a PowerShell. And then you're going to replace this path to the private key for the path where you have downloaded your private key. After replacing the path to the private key, simply hit enter and type in yes when prompted and then hit enter once more. So that is going to allow you to connect to the SSH terminal of your virtual machine. Now inside this terminal, the very first thing that we want to do is that we want to configure our PostgreSQL. Now for that, the very first step is to actually add the PostgreSQL user to the sudo users. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this step by step blog post guide on how to set up PostgreSQL. And from here, you're going to copy this command and paste it inside your SSH terminal. And after hitting enter, you have added the PostgreSQL user to the super users or sudo users. Now what you want to do is that you want to change the password for this PostgreSQL user. So for that, simply head back to the blog post, copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal and then hit enter. After that, it is going to ask you for the new password. So type in the new password and reconfirm the password. After that, you have successfully updated the password. Now to access the PostgreSQL shell, what you want to do is that you want to switch over to the PostgreSQL user. For that, simply type in the command sudo su hyphen l and then space postgres and then hit enter. So that is going to switch the user to PostgreSQL. Now in here to access the PostgreSQL shell, type in the command psql and then hit enter. Now what we can do is that we can run some basic commands. So head back to the blog post and copy these commands to create a new database named as mytestdb with the new user named as mytestuser with this password. So paste these inside the SSH terminal and then hit enter. So as you can see that our PostgreSQL shell is working perfectly. Now what we want to do is that we want to allow remote connections to our PostgreSQL server. So for that simply quit from the shell by typing in quit and then hit enter. After that head back to the blog post and copy this command to open up the PostgreSQL SQL configuration file. So head back to the SSH terminal, paste in the command and then hit enter. Then type in the password for the Postgres user. Now in this file, we want to uncomment the listen address. So you can see that this listen address is commented out. So simply uncomment this line. And if you want to listen to specific IP addresses, then you can paste those IP addresses over here. And if you want to listen to all of the addresses, then simply put an asterisk symbol over here and then hit control O, hit enter and then control X. You also want to allow some host to connect to your Postgres server. So for that, you need to open up the host file. So copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal. And at the very end, you want to paste in this line. So this line would allow the host from all over the world to connect to your Postgres server. And if you want to allow a specific host with a specific subnet, then you can simply use this format. So simply paste in the host at the end of the file, control O, hit enter and then control X to save the file. After that, we want to apply these configuration. So for that, we are going to simply restart the service of Postgres. So type in the command sudo systemctl restart 
post gree sql and then hit enter after that all of your configurations have been applied now if you want to access the web admin tool you need to run the setup shell so for that simply copy this command and paste it inside the ssh terminal and then hit enter and then wait for the shell to be set up so it is going to ask you for the email address of the administrator so type in the email address so i'm going to go with test at test.com and then the password by the way these are the credentials that we would be using to connect to our portal of pg admin web tool and then to connect to postgresql web tool simply head back over to azure and then go back to overview and then copy this public ip address and paste it inside a new tab and then follow it up with pg admin 4 and then hit enter so that is going to open up the portal for pg web admin tool so type in the email address for the administrator and the password and then hit enter and that will allow you to log into your web tool anyways that brings us to the end of this tutorial now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and make sure to check out the link in the description box for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up postgresql and also for the marketplace listing for azure and finally if this video has helped you in any way make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel